Hey, it's Jordan with Status Coup. Well, Elon Musk seems to be scamming uh, voters in swing states uh, in an effort to help elect Donald Trump. So it's perfectly fine that the billionaire owns uh, X or whatever the hell it's called uh, and has made it into a uh, right wing disinformation cesspool. Gotta love it. Uh, this is a major story. I'm guessing it will barely register uh, in, in mainstream media, but good on uh, CNBC for tracking this down. How an Elon Musk pack is using voter data to help Trump beat Harris. Tesla boss Elon Musk and other tech executives are funding a social media ad blitz to support the presidential campaign of Donald Trump. The ad comes as Musk uses his account on X uh, to back the Republican nominee. Musk's America PAC is collecting data in more than a dozen, half dozen swing states that could determine the outcome of the 2024 election. However, uh, his collection of that data is under very brazen false pretenses. Take a look at this. It's unbelievable. If a voter in Michigan performs a search on Google, a somewhat shocking ad might pop up. The ad shows a young man lying in bed late at night when someone else texts him, hey, you need to vote, and then sends the man a video of the attempted assassination of former President Trump. The man could hear the gunshots and people screaming in the background. As Trump is rushed off the stage with blood pouring down his face, the man watching the video types in response, this is out of control. How do I start? The ad then displays a website for a group called America Pack. The website says it will help the viewer uh, register to vote. Hmm, that sounds good. But once a user clicks register to vote, the experience he or she will have can be very different depending on where they live. If a user lives in a state that is not considered competitive in the presidential election, like California or Wyoming, they'll be prompted to enter their email addresses and zip code and then directed quickly to a voter registration page for their state or back to the original signup section. But for users who enter a zip code that indicates they live in a battleground state like Pennsylvania or Georgia, the process is very different. Rather than be directed to their state's voter registration page, they instead are directed to a highly detailed personal information form prompted to enter their address, cell phone, number, and age. If they agree to all that, the system still does not steer them to a voter registration page. Instead, it shows them a thank you page. So that person who wanted to help, re who wanted help registering to vote, in the end, they got no help at all. But they did hand over priceless personal data to a political operation. Specifically, a political action committee created by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, one aimed at giving the Republican presidential nominee Trump an advantage. Uh, quote, I have created a PAC or a super PAC, the America PAC. He said in a recent interview, Musk owns X and has a net worth of $235 billion. The America PAC has spent over 800000 since early July on digital ads that target voters in the key battleground states of Arizona, Michigan, Google, Georgia, North Carolina, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. These ads appeared on Facebook, Instagram, and Google through YouTube, and they all encourage people to register to vote. The PAC's efforts to collect information from people using the idea of voter registration is a critical piece to its plan to make personal contact with these voters. <laughs> Quote, America PAC is focusing on door-to-door -door canvassing in support of Trump, a spokesperson said. Uh, yeah, it seems like they are basically stealing people's data under false pretenses. Uh, since June, America PAC has spent over $21 million on canvassing, digital media, uh, text messages, services, and phone calls, according to the FEC. The PAC's website offers no indication one way or another what the group's political leading is. Ah, uh, shocking. Uh, just a few responses to this on Musk's right-wing cesspool of a platform, uh, X now. Oh, cool. So this is Musk's big election integrity push. Fake voter registration forms. What's next, Elon? Text messages to urban areas that tell voters the wrong election day or that their vote isn't needed? FEC, anybody home? Another one. Website backed by billionaire solicits detailed info with a register to vote button but won't send voters to genuine voter registration sites if they are in a battleground state. Oh, and the billionaire is Elon Musk. Uh, I'm not a election lawyer, but this seems kind of on the line, perhaps past the line of legal. Um, I don't really know how you, 
advertise an ad as a voter registration push, but then don't provide voter registration. Well, you do provide actual links to voter res- registration if it's in a safe seat, uh, a safe state uh, that you either have no chance of winning or you are, have locked up. But if it's a swing state, you're basically just harvesting their data uh, and not taking them to voter registration, which has two effects for non-political diehards, for kind of you know people with passing interests. Maybe they vote sometimes, maybe some years they don't. Uh, you might get them so frustrated to the point that they say, to hell with it, I'm not going to bother because look how complicated it is. I filled out all this information and I didn't even get the information on how to register to vote. And then they don't vote. A, how is this legal? And B, how do we have a legal system in this country where someone like this can at the same time oversee and run one of the biggest communications platforms in the world that is clearly algorithmically manipulating uh, information and messaging to prop up right-wing messaging Uh, right-wing extremist messaging, including white supremacy, and suppress uh, definitely progressive content, uh, but left-wing or liberal messaging. I'm not saying censorship, but it's very clear if you've looked at X under Elon Musk that, I mean, my my feed is just littered with right-wing trash that I don't even follow or subscribe to. And that's a lot of people's experience. I mean, it's truly unbelievable. And by the way, you have to factor in the data that they are getting by fooling these people in swing states to hand over their data. That's additional donations to the campaign. That That's worth millions of dollars to get the information, cell phones, emails of uh, unwitting voters that, I mean, any campaign from a small campaign, you know, for local state assembly to uh, on to the presidential level, you got to spend a lot of money to acquire uh, voter information. That's why uh, the DNC uh, has and, and the RNC has been selective on who they give it to and who they don't give it to. Uh, I know Marianne Williamson's campaign had uh, a hell of a time getting access to all the data uh, from the DNC. I know other uh, lefty progressive candidates were not just handed it and were often charged more for it because you have to pay for it to get it from political parties. But this is clearly a scam. Uh, Our Federal Election Commission is generally toothless. Uh, You don't really see them ever aggressively uh, go after uh, billionaires, millionaires, politicians for campaign finance violations, because most of the time politicians are violating campaign finance laws on a daily basis. And the whole super PAC first campaign and we can't collude or communicate. Well, that's just bullshit. the, the campaigns and the super PACs have found ways to communicate. And they do it out in the open by the super PAC or the campaign posting on their website, talking points and messaging, and then this, and then uh, the super PAC then running ads based on what the campaign posted that they want the messaging to be. So they're just communicating by posting it online. That's why Citizens United was such a joke and an evil, very, very harmful Supreme Court decision. But this goes beyond the pale. Elon Musk is now basically, uh, I, I don't know the legal term, but it's false advertising. I believe it's fraud. And it's out in the open. Why is he doing this? Why is he so hell-bent on Donald Trump becoming president when in the past he voted for Democrats and bought off Democrats, corporate Democrats? But what does he think he's going to get from Donald Trump? I mean, we know that he's been kind of... Um, angered and radicalized uh, by uh, one of his children uh, transitioned uh, and is transgender and that he's called it that the woke mind virus took my child. So maybe he thinks uh, Trump will be less woke or more anti-trans. I don't know, but I really don't know why a billionaire with the same mind would potentially break the law uh, to help Donald Trump unless he knows that the law clearly doesn't apply to him. And by the way, this isn't the only uh, situation Elon Musk has on his hands right now, because the SEC, uh, it seems, Securities and Exchange Commission, is gunning for him. Uh, This is from uh, June. Uh, Elon Musk and the SEC are on a collision course again. 
Testimony provided to regulators suggests Musk and an advisor brushed off compliance with a rule about disclosing his purchases of Twitter stock. Regulators once accused Musk of fraud over a possible buyout that never happened. Now they are positioned to make similar allegations over one that did. The Security and Exchange Commission has been investigating Musk's late disclosure of his purchase of Twitter stock before he took over the company. Excerpt, ex, excerpts of Musk's testimony provided to the SEC, which came to light last month through a separate lawsuit, suggest Musk and, it is, and his advisor brushed off compliance with a rule that required him to reveal his ownership once it passed 5% of Twitter shares. Musk and his closest advisor on the trades didn't seek legal advice, for instance, about how to follow the rule while building his stake, despite the advisor telling the bank that they had, according to a lawsuit in Manhattan federal court uh, brought by Oklahoma firefighters pension and retirement system against Musk and others. Musk waited to disclose his stake until he owned more than 9% and had an offer to join its board. According to court filings, as part of seeking evidence for their lawsuit, the Firefighters Pension Fund obtained transcripts of testimony that Musk and his advisor, Jared Birchall, gave to the SEC. The firefighters included parts of those transcripts in a revised complaint. So basically, Musk just didn't disclose uh, his increase in ownership so he could make more money, which if I did that, trust me, it would be a very short investigation because I'd be in jail. When Elon Musk does it, we have some long investigation and maybe he gets a fine. Certainly no criminal time. That's why I call it the United Corporations of America, folks. But to be clear, the real threat of election integrity is not Russian bots or Russian ads on Facebook. It's the disinformation machine in the United States pushed by billionaires. Uh, whether it be Correct the Record and David Brock and his bot machine that uh, worked overtime in 2016 on behalf of Hillary Clinton or Elon Musk and his right wing disinformation machine on X and now sending out fake voter registration videos and mailers where it doesn't actually bring you to a, a link or resource to register to vote. That's the disinformation and, frankly, fraud that moves elections, not foreign countries, you know, posting ridiculous trolling messages and fake Facebook ads. We'll see what happens, but I'm not holding my breath that Mr. Musk will be held accountable.